Hello fellow humans. Today um, I'm going to be playing the game Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. Uh, and I don't know anything about it. The only, like the first several reviews on Steam is just about how it made people more depressed or just like very what the fuck moments. So um, I'm ready to try it out. And it also kind of looks like it has a creepy edge. I don't do super well with that, so we'll see how this goes. Help me buy milk. Write down your name. Uh, Sabelle. Okay. Ooh, I'm on my way to the store rehearsing the speech. The music is really creepy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm turning it down. I haven't been out for so long that I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. I'm actually taking an earphone out because it makes me less scared to hear that th there's like a real world. <laughs> I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go! Who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps to gather my thoughts? Okay, so it is a little trippy. Um. What game is it going to say milk inside a bag of milk? There are games in which you can see characters' thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought if someone reads my thoughts, then I have to be really concentrated so as not to whip up the extra haha. -ha. I'm deeply breathing in. Hello, can I? Dot dot dot. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> 19th attempt, and I'm fall and I'm failing again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So once again, hello, can I get- Wow, a whole word more. Oh, that's so encouraging. Thank you, I'm trying really hard. In my opinion, this time the one sound was a little longer than usual. The I. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello, hello can I- Ugh, I better keep my lips sealed. Don't worry. Okay. We gotta be supportive, you know, like, to help this pixel person get their bag of milk. By the way, you have been walking with your left foot on the asphalt and your right foot on the grass for a whole minute. Wha- What? My right leg froze in the air. Huh, how much? 50 steps on asphalt and 51 on grass. I don't know how this is relevant. Um, you will have to cancel the previous step. Hey, hey, hey. How do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You were taught how to do it. Come on. You're so stupid. I think the first one, the tone matters. This one, I mean, tone matters for everything, but it's, it's just kind of mean either way. But you were taught how to do it. Come on is very encouraging versus but hopefully it's like a, an encouraging tone. I, I don't remember. I'm going to burst into tears. Ugh, from the beginning. I'm so mean. Step one, take a step back to your, f get your foot exactly into your own trail. I'm so confused. This person can walk however they want to the store. Like why, okay, whatever. Wait, wait, how is it step one? What then? So it's already the 52nd, but wait, if I'm going backwards, then 50th, it still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay, step 50th, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it at least a little? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word, people don't talk like that. There's no other option but to be mean, you're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you will be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. Damn, really? So, are you ready? Yes, yes. I gently changed the position of the leg, peering carefully into the thick grass. If this is the person's point of view, why isn't the position of my leg? Like, it's very, that's very creepy. I don't know why I'm so scared there's gonna be a jump scare. When I entered the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I?
Is that a zero or an O? Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? I don't know what to do. Excuse me, what? This is an internal loop of hell. Excuse me, what? Am I doing something wrong? You'd better not to do it. You're better- you'd better not to do it. I feel like I'm having a stroke. What? He is clearly not going to change his line. Do you run the risk of falling into an endless loop? That's what I just said. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Don't listen. <laughs> I guess- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> they're getting- Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter? <laughs> oh! What is so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. I can show. Explaining won't be enough, but keep in mind that it'll cause. <gasps> I don't know why- <laughs> I told you I get so scared so easily. I know there's gonna be a jump scare, that's the thing. Something like that. So I'll just keep on ignoring his question. I actually really like the letter O. And I like the number zero because it reminds me of circles because they're both circular. Zero is typically oval, but you know what I mean. And so circles are like the ultimate shape. Just saying. What? 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 I gather all the will into a fist. Hmm. I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> My interlock interlocular shook and crawled you just repeated after him and it worked do it more often wait i said that he crawled but did he really crawl because i didn't even look in his direction when exactly did you say that yeah just now personally i did not hear i don't even i don't know if i heard you're just trying to distract me but i know that my words were shown on the screen I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves there are bags of milk. Um, the two of us- so this is like definitely not American because I know that in America we have like cartons of milk and stuff and jugs but in other countries there are bags of milk which was like a big thing on tumblers like years back being like wow cultural differences. Um, the two of us are standing. And milk? Lies? Or maybe- Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why we came? Why you came? To buy milk! So, buy. I thought I just heard something. Right here? <laughs> I'm freaked out. How, in your opinion, should I reply? Hmm, I suppose something like, not here. Not here, take the bag and go to the cash desk. You are getting on my nerves. I guess the first sentence. And you like for spite, like for spite, didn't make a pause before the second. Want to take away all my small victories? I'm trying to be the nicest that the options give me. I sigh and pull my hand to take milk. Or rather, a bag of milk instead. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Cue credits. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Okay, so there's a theme of like, eternal, like, circular things, which I guess like goes also back to the guy loving, oh, so much. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside, blah, 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 blah. Reception, reception, 15 minutes before store closing, hurry up. They would never, s okay, maybe in other countries they would. In America would be like, Excuse me, just wanted to let everybody know that in 15 minutes our store will be closing. Like, it's disgustingly sweet to the customers, like they're babies. Um, I remember what these games are called, visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, in letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy there, and you don't be lazy too. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your language. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or there will be no good at home. Already running. I think there's some like 
grammatical errors. I'm not sure if it's purposeful, but I'm reading them just how I see it on screen, or at least how my brain is processing it on screen. It still might be wrong. Um, hello, c can I get milk, please? You have it! Ah, give. I put out a weighty bag at the pay desk. Of course, not just a bag, but milk, too. Hello, can I get it back, please? No. Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> but please, mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. Oh, no. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. You are pathetic. Pay for milk. Pay for milk. Haha, -ha, really? What would I do without you? Oh, I think that's sarcasm. <laughs> I pull the crumpled cash out of my pocket and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. About two days have passed before he nodded satisfactorily and put a cash in the machine. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm walking down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasingly pulls away my hand, reminding me of the times I took my f I took physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the pay machine, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk inside another bag. Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. A gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile of ice cream. I'm not sure what that means, but I think it sounds good, right? What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you, but I'm really interested. You're just a weirdo. Okay, earnestness maybe? Well look, the ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to one. I agree. Okay, if I were good at math, I could have calculated that probably by like the average bag of milk or whatever, but I'm not good at math. I agree, it's not the tastiest ice cream unless you want to drink more than to eat. So the way from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the way from the gas station to home is ice cream. For today's walk, my body will be in every part of this way. Simple maths. Okay. I feel movement under my feet, asphalt grains, petrol stains. How do you feel stains under your feet? I'm trying to keep my balance and net and how do people move on something as uneven as the urban plane? Uh, neat. Heel, sock. I count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. You're gonna run into something. Hey, watch out. Uh? I unconsciously take a sharp step inside, aside, and the same moment a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm throwing a stumbling peek at the rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck. Oh, that was the first. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You might have died! The casual way! <laughs> I just said that. Come on, are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You are sick. The world is cruel and dangerous. I don't know how important these replies are, but I don't like either of them. Um, the world is cruel and dangerous. I'm not in the world you're talking about. My path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store has one interesting property. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are serviceably extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rainfalls that hide my tears. Right now, I feel how the cloud is slowly gathering over my top. I'm sad. Are you sure all this is really happening? And how else? Have you never been visited by the idea that all this is only in your head? Or dot dot dot. The instruction did not say that at all. Apparently, these pills don't work on me either. Pills have nothing to do with it. Dot dot dot. I'm doing dot dot dot. I don't know the fuck what is going on. You know what? 
what? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading right now. This is me. This can affect on your recovery in a wrong way. Um, as you say, recovery from what? They're a visual novel character, but um, theoretically, I'll still give them agency. So as you say, I squeeze my head with the hands and set a thought block. Dot dot dot. With the edge of my eye, I notice a small bench, a great place for cliche visual novel monologues. I'm getting closer, putting a noticeably heavy bag of milk nearby and raising my head to the sky. Is that a bench? Dot dot dot. Listen. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I understand I'm going crazy. Drugs are working less and less effectively. So, dot dot dot. Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Nope! I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you, please. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Nope! Okay. I guess. <laughs> I think it'll be in a loop, but... Do I have to say yes? Please write with a capital letter. You ruin the narrative. As if they care about grammar! Okay. I'm gonna do nope in capitals then. Okay, I'm gonna do a yes in a capital then. Really? I must be quite unlike an exemplary protagonist, right? Yeah, I don't even know what you look like. To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now I need a lot of effort just to distinguish letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I wouldn't like to say my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me as I am. Even if I made you up, don't take it away from me, okay? Ah, okay. Don't ask me about too much. I can do that. How stupid all this. From the beginning, you followed me, read my delusional thoughts, heard my stupid conversations. Maybe I seem crazy and weird to you. Haha. <laughs> it's just like... The neurodivergence of it all. <laughs> What is it like to see the world with my eyes? Ever since, ahem, something happened, I only see red everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I've been used to it for a long time. To be honest, I even forget what other colors look like. Let it go, haha. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all, because I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they're the only ones who are scared. Can you imagine it? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Do you promise? Yes. Like I said already, I will give you your uh, philosophical agency as a video game character. Really? Do you promise? Yes. Really? <laughs> Do you promise? Of fucking course. I'm serious. I'm serious too. Of course you couldn't not to ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have raised this topic. So you're really wondering what happened to me. No, I'm not. I won't take time. What do you see? Um, splotches? <laughs> oh. It's really hard for me to type on this keyboard. <laughs> Splotches. Are you sure? I think so. One way or another. This is my dad. Some of his parts at least. We do have a very difficult family. Who doesn't? Despite all the problems, I would never have thought. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. In general, he threw himself out of the window and died. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. 
That's difficult. Strange, very strange. Today is the first time I've been able to buy something from a store without a serious incident. Of course, the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more of your merit. Aw, I was thinking all the time. Do not screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? I don't know why I decided to become a character in a visual novel for the sake of going to the store today, but it has clearly borne fruit. Thank you! Oh, I feel like we're in a good state right now, not nagging at each other and beating each other up. By the way, I think there are some frameworks in our communication. That's how I like it, haha. -ha. And yet, I'm so sad lately. I think more and more about what my life has become. Ever since dad, well, you understand. Day after day is the same. I've tried so many pills that I can't feel a difference between them anymore. As long as they keep me on my feet, I'm happy. Haha. -ha. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. I want to tell you so- I missed something. I don't want to say that. I don't even know what they asked. Oh no. I will not press you. I just advise you. Go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, let's go. Okay. Okay. I stop on my floor and hang by the railing. Repeating this action every day like a ritual, I stop being afraid of heights. A few minutes ago, the pills finally came to naught, so I'm just enjoying blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Okay, I finally am able to like, make out- <gasps> Did you bring milk? <laughs> Is that my mom? <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Did you bring milk? Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> yes, mom. Did your new medic medicine help? Yes, mom. Stop showing my mom. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> Yes, mom. Oh my god. Is that it? I think that's it. Um. Well, <laughs> there's this game. <laughs> it was really, it was really freaky and it's so short. It's a lot shorter than I thought it would be. I feel like maybe if I dig deeper into um, the creators and the lore of the game and everything, it might be one of those things where multiple runs, um, it like remembers previous runs like Undertale, even though I'd never played Undertale, but um, you know, where it remembers like previous save files. Um, but as of right now, I'm gonna stop because that's what I mean, I can't play scary games. Even that little, that little baby face freaked the hell out of me. Yep. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and like to my channel. Bye.